You know, going for my uh, regular midnight stroll here for some exercise. We are outside of the Jerome Grand Hotel here in Jerome, Arizona. Small mining town from uh, back in the 1800s. They used to mine a lot of copper here. This place itself actually dates back to 1927. Closed at some point in the 1950s. Was actually abandoned for a while. I don't know if you knew that. So the place was actually abandoned for about 45 years, give or take. And then in 1994, somebody purchased it and decided to turn it into a hotel, which is really, really cool. Rumor has it that the spirits still linger here. The most common entity that people run into is the head nurse, who is upset because a lot of the furniture has been moved or removed. So tonight it is just going to be Jazz and I. Uh, we have all of our paranormal equipment, EMF meters, Ouija boards, I got freaking dousing rods, all sorts of things. We're gonna literally try a bit of everything, see what it is that we managed to capture. The cool part is that we have the grand suite, which is literally the biggest room inside of the hotel. It's literally like a luxury suite, mm -hmm. two master bedrooms. We have literally bathrooms on either side. We have our own kitchen, our own living room. Um, it's honestly amazing and that side is also supposed to be the most haunted side of the hotel Specifically the restaurant area is very active and our section right above it I don't know why I mean, there's like a portal or something that goes through there um, It could be the patients from the past when this place used to be a hospital It is nice to see that they saved historical buildings because I love when they do things like that um, Because they do hold significance and it looks really cool at the top of the hill as well so um, yeah, we are going to head on up. Uh, we're gonna start investigating right away. It's already pretty late. I don't know how late we're going to go into this because um, we're already a little bit tired from playing random article all day and plus a long drive. But uh, yeah, we'll do as much as we can, as late as we possibly can and try and capture all the evidence we possibly can and include it here for you guys. Smash the like button, subscribe if you're new and uh, turn those notifications on and let's get the party started. Are you ready, Jazz? Yes. You Do sure? it again. One more time. One more time. One more time. Yes. I'm you ready sure? now. Now are you ready? Yeah. Okay. Are, are you sure? No. One more time. Okay. All right. I'm. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, from the outside, um, this is like Spanish style. You actually see this quite often here. We've been seeing this quite a bit in Arizona. Yeah, tons. Which is really cool. It's supposed to be called like Spanish mission style. To be honest, I don't really know what that means. Uh, <laughs> but. Um, what's cool is that the place used to be, it was literally like falling apart because it was abandoned for such a long period of time. Mm -hmm. There was parts that were actually getting vandalized. Luckily they managed to save as much as they did. Um, they added a lot of these awnings later on because obviously, you know, it was a hospital before. Right, right, right. And you can see it from the inside, which is really, really creepy looking. Um, you can see the way like they have the glass windows above the doors, which is like, you're like, yeah, that's a hospital. So, yeah. Yeah, we're probably gonna, you know, contact a few spirits from patients who obviously died here. This was actually supposed to be like the best hospital in all of Arizona at one point. And then for one reason or another, they ended up closing it down. I don't remember what the specific reason is. It doesn't really matter, but right. 
Um, but yeah, let's uh, head on inside. Let's do it. Let's go. Press and hold the button. Right. Cool. Nice. So this is a uh, really, really old elevator from like 90 years ago this thing was built. Still works like a charm. It's really cool how you can see the pulleys and everything down there. Yeah, it's insane. Right? So far I've been love with this place. <laughs> yeah, that's for sure. I like the detail, the effort that they put into mm -hmm. to everything. It actually kind of almost reminds me of another place that I've been to um, called the Thomas House in Tennessee. If you've never been, I highly recommend checking that out. Sure thing. Oh, was, you thought I was talking to you? No, I'm joking. <laughs> um, how's this purpose pull? I'm going to let you find, figure it out. <laughs> there you go. Okay, it's late. Um, our brains may not be functioning 100%, or at least mine might not be. Which is great because, you know, I find that when you're more tired, you're more susceptible to see things. This one, right? This one? Uh, yeah. Yeah. It's like a cold start in the winter. Yeah, yeah. This is cool though. Look at that thing. Nice clock. Right. I'm gonna check out the hallways after because it's really cool. So I think this is what it originally looked like. Um, I think there was a part of it, the back side here, that they tore down. So that side doesn't exist anymore, but obviously this is where we were. Yeah. Standing out of where I did my sexy model walk coming down the stairs. Mm -hmm. Of course. Alright. And this reminds me of the Titanic. Have any of you guys have seen the Titanic? Really? Let's read it out. Help us! Help us! You've seen Titanic, right? That's that uh, the movie farming movie, right? No. The movie about the ship. You know what the Titanic is? Yeah, yeah, the boat. Yeah, okay. So, remember the scene where they were like, Jack and Rose, they were stuck, and the guy was like, gonna leave them or whatever, and then he like, decides to open it? Yeah, yeah. If you guys have seen Titanic, let me know down in the comments below, because it's like the best movie ever made. Um, let's go to our grand suite. Desires, really. Okay, um, maybe we'll get a feel for the place. Maybe I'll show you guys around so you guys can get a feel of what yeah. this place actually looks like. Absolutely. Um, this thing is massive, literally 2,000 square feet. Dude, that's bigger than some people's houses. Mm -hmm. Right? So, that's we got a lot of space, a lot of room to cover, a lot of areas to work with. Um, that's cool. into a hotel room that's had its own piano? No. No? First time? Yeah. Like, it is literally in the late 1800s Steinway. That's crazy. So, alright. Um, so we're gonna figure out exactly where to get started. I'm gonna grab the camera myself, probably show you guys around for a few minutes, and then uh, we will go from there. 
All right, let's do it. All right, guys, so I uh, took a little break before getting started here. I kind of want to do like a little bit explore, you know, in usual tradition of my videos, I'd like to show you guys what it is that we're working with. Um, so I'm going to show you guys around our suite because it's just amazing. Um, also had a weird thing happen as I was going downstairs, stepped outside to take a breath of fresh air, and uh, I'm, I'm going to let you guys know that in two seconds, so just stay tuned. So, uh, I think we pretty much covered this entrance way, so there's not really too much else to show you, but uh, there is this old phone. I wonder if it works. Have you tried this phone yet, Jess? I tried, but I didn't know how to work it. Oh, sorry. I didn't realize this phone works. <laughs> it goes to the front desk. No yeah, I, it's literally sounded like it was connecting. It was making like this weird noise, and then all of a sudden, a lady comes out, just like front desk. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, that's so good. Oh man! Wow. <laughs> Okay, so apparently the, the old phones in here still work, which is pretty cool. So, this is our uh, fancy living room over here. We got the uh, grandfather clock. We got uh, one camera. We got a uh, special gentleman right here. Sexy looking mother <laughs> Says you. Ooh, yeah. Got a one TV in here. It's a pretty small TV, but I guess because it has to fit in here, those lights outside are gonna be really annoying. Yeah, pissing me off. Right? Is right. what it is, though. Is what it is. Because this is the this is where the restaurant side is. Right. Yeah. So it has I to look. Blinds, yeah, it has to look pretty on the outside, anyways. But yeah, we have this amazing freaking piano. It's quite worn, but still pretty cool, just because you know, it's old AF. Um. Dining area, kitchen. What's that noise? What the hell was that? Is this on? Nope. That was weird, bro. I don't know. It was like, and then it just like died out. Literally, yeah, literally from that side of the kitchen. So weird. We got one bathroom over here. Really nice. This is my room for the night. Nice, big, comfortable looking bed. Wonderful Serta mattress. <laughs> yeah, we're living uh, pretty luxurious tonight. Honestly, wish we had more time here, but we don't, so it's going to be kind of a uh, one-night thing for us. Oh, man. I've never had to, like, walk this far to get from one side to the other of a hotel room. <laughs> right? This is intense. It's like some penthouse-type thing. We literally have our own laundry units, <laughs> which is crazy, and also very well needed at this point in our trip here in Arizona. This room is cool. We have literally an entire media room, big TV, CD player theme bob, pretty dang snazzy if you ask me. And this is going to be Jazz's room for tonight. Nice bed right here. And another nice washroom. This is cool. You can kind of get the feel of how it used to be a hospital. I don't know, it just has that design to it, like the layout and whatnot. I'm not quite sure what this side used to be. It could have actually been like the surgery side of the building. I'm not 100% sure on it, so don't quote me on that. But um, yeah, pretty cool. Just the neat thing about this place is how much like history it has, how much history this city, the area, uh, like we were driving through the whole town all night long doing Randonautica, checking things out. Really, really cool place. Lots of uh, neat stuff to see. And the views up here from the top of the mountain are absolutely incredible. So hopefully I'll be able to catch the sunrise. Maybe we'll be able to see that. 
that would be pretty awesome, but I don't think it's going to happen. I think we're going to be up really, really late and going to need as much sleep as we can. But, uh, oh yeah, let me tell you guys what uh, what it is that I saw. So, uh, basically what I saw, which was pretty... So, what have you had happen so far? Uh, door closed, caught on camera, and then you walked in through another door. It, so, I was like... I was thinking to myself, was it maybe Angela messing with me? But then you walked in... What the hell was that? It's not like a squeak. I know, right? Okay. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that's interesting. So what I had happened, I already told you this, but uh, I was heading downstairs, um, just stepping outside for a second. When I got down to the second floor, um, I thought there was a person there. Like, mm -hmm. as I'm about to enter, or, or like, exit the stairway. Right. So I'm like mentally preparing myself to be like, oh, sorry, excuse me. And I kind of like come around the corner and there's no one there. But I could fully see like a shadow of what looked like a woman. But maybe a little little less, a little shorter than we are, right. roughly. So I don't know. That was kind of strange. Maybe it was just my eyes playing tricks on me. But I'm pretty sure I know exactly what I saw there. Right. Um, so there's, there's probably been a lot of people who've come in and out of this place. I mean, it was a hospital at one point. Um, yeah, I guess we're going to find out. The interesting thing to find out would be, for me, would be to know whether the spirits who still linger here still see it as a hospital. Right. Or do they, are they amongst us? Can they see us? and understand that the place is now a hotel. Does that change the atmosphere of things? I think that would be pretty interesting to know. We'll see if we can be. find those answers out. Um, but yeah, I think we're gonna get started now. Just about to uh, unpack all of our gadgets and uh, get this thing going. You ready? Let's go. Let's go. Oh, I'm ready, boy. Let's do this. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, um, All right. so I basically, just... I'm just gonna say it again for my camera, but, um, we're gonna try to do, like, a introductory, uh, seance, basically. Yeah, just... we should try and introduce ourselves. So, we have some cat balls right here, go off by touch, as you guys know, REM pod, sensor activated, so. Um, hello, spirits of the hotel slash hospital slash asylum. My name is Yasko, and I'm here with my buddy, Angelo, and uh, we're trying to communicate with you. If you can, please use your energy in any sort of way, whatever way you feel comfortable. If it is in forms of electromagnetivity or in forms of physical touch or, I don't know, uh, <laughs> please come forward. Whatever it is you can, if you want to try and talk to us. Um, I have a wonderful kickstart here by Mountain Dew that I would love to offer you. No, that's my last drink of the night. Well, that's just too bad. I've now offered it up to the spirits. <laughs> or if you'd like maybe a coffee, there's coffee in the kitchen, maybe some beer. I got a few beers left in the fridge. Whatever it is you want to do. We're friendly. We don't mean you any harm. We do have a device here with the red light on. You can use that to contact us. Just literally touch it, make it go off. You made it go off as we were setting up. That was pretty cool. Whoa, dude. What? Literally, I don't know if I was rubbing my eyes because I have like a headache, but right behind you, it looked like someone was standing behind the couch behind you. For real? Yeah. So, Angelo mentioned it, but he said that this room uh, was quite possibly a surgery room. And I think reason, it was, yeah. The reason for that is because the doors, the, yeah. the yeah. doors open, it's a big hallway. It makes sense because it's like the biggest area, generally. It looks as if it would have been surgery. Mm -hmm. Is it going off? Oh, it's about to go off. There we go. Temperature change. Yep. Something has entered the room with us. That's awesome. I'll reset it.
All right, so we've welcomed something in, which is great. It's great, uh, great start, to say the least. Um, <laughs> now, if you could possibly touch the REM pod, make it go off. You hear that? Yeah. It's like a. Yeah. I don't know where that came from, though. Neither do I. Kind of sounded like it might have come from upstairs, possibly. I don't want to say for sure, but. Angela? Yeah? Did you notice something? What? The grandfather clock is at 3.30 a.m. Oh, that's interesting. Was it always like that? I don't believe it was. Or something? Yeah. Sounds like footsteps. <laughs> um, I'm not too sure. But I might fire up spear box or something, see if we can get any answers through there. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. You know, so, some spirits prefer different types of communication, so I'm going to go ahead and try out Necrophonic. And, uh... Second I mentioned Necrophonic. Was that actual, uh, touch? Yes. So what, off the green? Or yellow or something? Seems like it wants to talk to us through Necrophonic. Mm -hmm. Hello, spirits. How many spirits are here with us right now? Spirits, was that you who made that knock over there a little while ago? That was me. Is that what that said? Yep. That was me? Hey. Can, can you tell us your name? I thought I heard dad. I heard either dad or god. Potentially. Can you repeat yourself? What is your name? That one didn't sound too happy. Hmm. I'm not gonna lie, Andrew, I don't feel good right now. No? I don't feel good right now. Do you need to stop? I'm just gonna pause it for a second. I really don't feel good right now. I don't know how to explain it. I almost feel weak. Well, if you need to stop, we can no, 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 we can no, no, pause no, if you no, need by, to. By all means, it's late at night. Maybe I'm just tired. Yeah. Let's just continue, all right? Yeah. Um, all right. If you don't mind, can you ask some questions? Um. Yeah, sure. Whoever it was that we were communicating with, or maybe whoever touched this device here with the red light, can you give us your name? We'd love to clarify. Nope. They really don't want to tell us their name, eh? Mm -hmm. Can you maybe tell us how you died? No. Mm. Whoa. What is the name of the spirit who just made that go off? It's a temperature change again. I can see it flashing. Here. Here. Oh, as soon as it said here. It just said, Whoa. Here. Yeah. Well, thank you for that. Now we definitely know you're here. <clears throat> Hello. 
Is this place still a hospital to you? Can you tell us yes or no? If this place is still a hospital to you? Oh, that's really weird. For some reason, like, my legs just got really hot. Like, as if somebody grabbed my legs. Like, Here. About 30 to, um, seconds to a minute ago, I didn't say anything. Yeah. If you saw me stand up, I felt like something really warm just, like, touched you? Against my back. Yeah. That's so weird. That was the weirdest feeling I've ever had, dude. Bro, look at, you probably can't see, but. Oh. Temperature change. Yeah. Dude, look at the hairs on my arm. Oh yeah. Like I'm. They're all literally standing right up. I don't have many. But you can... <laughs> yeah. The ones that are. It was odd though. It literally felt as if two hands simultaneously grabbed like not my ankle but like my shin area. Yeah. On both legs. Interesting. And it just randomly went completely warm. Well, I have a question. I'm gonna ask some questions in regards to nurse. The mm -hmm. one that we were telling you guys about that yeah. mistreated yeah. patients here. Is the spirit of the nurse here with us, Tim? The nurse, you know who you are. Why did you mistreat these patients? How many patients did you kill? Three? Can you tell us how you killed them? No? How about we ask the patients how you killed them? Are any of the patients here with us now? How did the nurse kill you? What was that? I don't know. I, to, I, I heard it was like just something me? Med. 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 Meds, maybe. Meds? Maybe they gave they them too, much too many med. meds? Patients, were you. Did you overdose on medication? That was my foot. I accidentally hit the bottom of the couch. But I felt like something was just behind me. What the f is that? The heater? I don't think so. I turned the heat off because it was too loud. <coughs> what is that? You okay? Yeah, I'm getting a little choked up in here. I feel really hot for some reason. Really, the water's on. Hands the water's on. Uh. Do you smell that? It smells like eggs in here. Oh yeah, you're right. It it smells just, that, yeah, kind of like, like sulfur. It smells like eggs. Yeah, in here. that's not good. Why? Well, they say that sulfur is kind of like the smell of brimstone, which is kind of like the smell of hell, which is kind of, you know, the smell of a demon's butthole, essentially. Interesting. Right. Okay. That's creepy. Uh, You heard that, right? Yeah. You heard that, right? Yeah, yeah. It was like something like rattled. Like rattled, yeah. 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 What the f is going on in here? I wish I knew.
So, here's the thing. Did you see my bathroom yet? No. Bathroom gives really big asylum vibes. Oh, hundred percent. So. Yeah. Uh, what if? Sorry, you asked. Sorry, um, you asked me if I had seen your bathroom. I said no, but yes, I have. <laughs> Go I was on. gonna say, yeah, yeah. Go yeah, on. <laughs> I was gonna say, uh, what if, you know, we tried this there and see if we could. Yeah, we could do that. Patience, though. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. Let's do that. Cool. So I placed yes, the red right here. Mm-hmm. What was that? What? Nothing. Um, I placed the rim pot here because this piano is actually, has been here since this building has been here. So a I very believe long so, time. yeah. So this, this piano might have some attachments with it. That's a possibility. So here we go. Sensor, you know, just however. There we go. Yep. In any way, shape, or form. Yep. Cat ball. Um, I got one too, so. Yeah. Cool. We are good to go. How's it roll? <laughs> Quite a little. Our bathroom is too deep left, my friend. Alrighty. Really. Yeah, this uh, bathroom is really freaky. What's up? This bathroom is really freaky. It's like totally like asylum feel. Angel? Yeah. Something just like moved in here. Breathed on my neck. Really? Yes. Yes, bro. What is that? What? Can you just make sure there's nothing? I might just let you get scared. In the hallway there. I have no idea what I just heard. Nothing here, bro. But it is odd that it's much colder in this one area. Do you notice that? Yeah, drastically. All right. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Just, dude, it felt like it felt like yeah. something like hard to explain, but it felt like something was just like. Oh, that was just my arm. Like just. Oh, another temperature change. Oh, that was actual. Uh... Slight sensor touch. Yeah, I guess. All right, we're getting somewhere. Interesting. Very much. So. I dropped my ball. I'm sorry. It's okay. Um. Oh, there it is again. Sorry. Let's go again. Okay. After you, bro. Oh, man. Sorry. Sorry. What was that? Nothing. <laughs> Absolute hunk of drunk first. That's what I meant. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. That wasn't you. D d how? Look how I'm holding my camera. No way, bro, I'm not. There's no way it could just like... No, there's literally no way. Do you feel how heavy these Oh, are? yeah. That's a, that's a weighty door, bro. Yeah. That's okay. not... Uh, that's solid. How bad, bad feeling. I know, Can right? Can we just talk about this for a second? Right? Just turn on by itself. Angelo? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what? Alright, I'm gonna turn this off. Uh, yeah, please. What the hell? How did that just happen? How did a lot of this happen? How did the door close? How? What the f? Okay, okay. Let's just try and calm down. Uh, <laughs> try. Try. Keyword. Sorry guys, I'm trying to keep my composure. I'm really not, like, yeah. it's just, the night we've had so far, and then on top of this, is just, it's a lot. 
let's continue into my terrifying bedroom. Okay. And uh, bath as well, so. Don't you get like an asylum feel from this? Like? Uh, yeah, 100%. How am I supposed to shower in peace? Uh, <laughs> you got some strings somewhere? <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna post my camera up right here. And I'm gonna go ahead and set it <laughs> Okay. <laughs> and try some Alright. There we go. Um, spirits, I'm talking specifically to the patients right now. Patients or the nurse. Are there any? I thought I heard something too. I, I thought I heard something, right? Yeah. Okay. Spirits. Is there any spirit that is here with me right now in this room? Whoa. Wow. What the fuck? That was like a yell. What is that? Just the heat, right? Just the heating system? Right? That loud? I thought we turned it off. We did. Because it would have turned it on. Right? Yeah. You're sure you turned it off? I, I swear I everything I turned off. Is that the TV again? Where's that coming from? No, dude, that's not the TV. Bro, what the f So something <laughs> is using its power for everything electromagnetic. Oh yeah, dude. That thing on the wall, which is beyond my days, the TV, explain that. I mean, at that point, I had the camera facing Explain me. anything that's you happened so far. Like, I'm trying to debunk stuff, because, you know... Yeah, it doesn't make sense. Yeah, none of it lit literally, the answer we're literally the none of it makes sense. We're weird. Yeah. Okay, I am getting a splitting headache all of a sudden. Tell me, man. You too? I've been the whole time. Like, I just I don't feel. <sighs> so, what is the uh, the game plan here? <laughs> like, Ouija I still board. want Ouija board? No, really? Point, right? uh, I mean, I guess. So, here's the thing. What time is it right now? We're looking at. Two twenty-seven mm -hmm. in the morning. So we're approaching the witching hour. I you say we wait until three to do the Ouija board, of course. Okay. And then uh, whatever happens, happens, right? Yeah, I guess so. But um, things are getting crazy, and we just started filming. <laughs> um, I mean, I'm thinking about doing the Nastis method. Yeah, I'm seeing cool with that because I'm struggling to understand some of the things that are coming through the necrophonic. Like, maybe if I pull up a spirit box connected to the essence method, maybe I'll get better responses. So I'm gonna give that a shot and uh, let's see what we get from that. Just the question is, where do we do it? And I'm mm. almost thinking to do it in the bathroom. The Estes method, yes, yeah, we can do that. All right, that man. makes sense. Let's get this situated, yeah, set up, and I'll see you guys then. Yeah, cool.